Puerto Rico's bioluminescent bay draws people in from around the world. But its secrets aren't revealed until the sun goes down. This bio bay lights up when movement in the water disturbs microscopic organisms. And when that happens, they glow in the dark. But this beautiful bay on the island of Enchantment took a direct hit from Hurricane Maria in 2017, and the lights went out. After Maria, the, the first uh, weeks visiting, it was everything brown. There's, there was no green leaves inside this natural reserve. Luis Mendez calls Bio Bay home. He's lived in the town of Fajardo, Puerto Rico for over 43 years. 20 years ago, you can, uh, we can predict a lot the bioluminescence. Hey, uh, it's raining, probably it's too cold for the glowing, but uh, at this moment, it's very unpredictable. Wow. Now as these organisms continue to recover from Maria's wrath, tourism has taken a turn for the worst. The lagoon was greatly affected and it spent months until the glow came back. Dr. Ricardo Colon saw how concerned residents were for their livelihoods. We're talking about a living organism that, that is affected by the environment and it has to uh, uh, grow back to a certain concentration where, where the glow is visible. And many are wondering about the future. Climate change is a threat to all, every, every, all landscape, particularly here in, in Puerto Rico and the Caribbean. The temperature of the water will definitely affect the the plankton, the dinoflagellate, that, that is uh, bioluminescent. It could cause a die-off of like, the organism. We often look at the destruction that happens as a result of hurricanes. But Luis and his family are also trying to see the other side. I believe the hurricanes is, is just part of our modern nature. Mm -hmm. Oxygenation, we're back. Nutrients are moving again in the water. So having a, a storm uh, in the area means uh, regeneration. The lagoon is resilient, and if, and if we keep managing uh, correctly on the long term, we're going to keep that glow uh, glowing. <laughs>